Good morning. Good. Calves are all doing well, our calves. And um, that limb's in there, that's one of the new bot ones in. That's another bot one in. You can see a lot older, bigger. That one's an absolute unit. Hey, excuse me. Need to nip back to yard one to pick up the linchpin that's missing out the link arm on the tractor. Righty ho! I've got one tank of spray to go and do on some string barley. Then that's all the spraying till the end of the week where I'll get onto some wheat. Kev's shifting a bit more dung this morning. I'll check the GoPro up there. Right, we're ready for action with a sprayer. Just waiting on Kev coming back up the hill from where he's dumping the dung because there's a GoPro on top of his tractor right now. They were asking if you were around, how you was where you could be found. I've had Netherton tractors on the phone today, so they deal in uh, John Deere, the other green machines. John Deere sprayers, watch people's opinions, put them down below. Ideally, people who use them, put your opinion down below. And my thinking is they're more tailored to work with a John Deere tractor. Surely, just naturally, they'd be better suited getting towed with a John Deere. Most other sprayer brands don't make tractors as well, so naturally, they don't tailor them to one tractor, they tailor them to a few. In my eyes, John Deere surely tailored them slightly towards the John Deere tractor. Got to be. Anyway, opinions down below because we are in the hunt for something to replace this at some point. Recent issues has probably sped up that process. This is where Kev's mucking out today. We had one of the bulls in here. So we're getting all this cleared. We'll need to empty anything in this shed and anything down that way beyond the wall before this all gets flattened. Salvage any bits we're meaning to keep. So like these barriers, we'll take them off. And um, there's decent gates over there salvage anything worth salvaging. Keep an eye out, I might put these up for sale if anyone's interested, because we're gonna have quite a lot of them and don't think I've got a use for them. Right, we're off. I got down to just below these poles yesterday. The rest of this field's to go. It's a bit of a, it's like a U shape. We're up in a corner right now, the top of the U. Beyond the yard there is the other side of the field that's like the other side of the U. Here's a picture that explains it better while I negotiate that telegraph pole. Oh, just wiped out the sign that was on the telegraph pole. Danger of death. Oh. Good as new. Anyway, I've done that tram line. It's this tram line I need to start at. This is my tram line. Right, we're off and running. I've only got another hour of spring to do and then that's me done till the end of the week. So we're sitting, what are we sitting at? About 2.4 bar at the moment. We'll kick that up a wee bit, it's pretty dead still today, so we can be, we're not too worried about drift. Quick stop for a cup of tea and uh, seven brioche rolls. There's only one left, I might as well finish it. No point taking one back, is it? Flipping egg. Only meant to eat two. Jesus. Just shy of a thousand calories in brioche rolls. <laughs> I'm a young growing laddie. As you can see, I'm working very hard burning it all off, so it's all fine. Right, job done. Just need to go and wash out the sprayer. Kev is finished mucking out. This is the last forkful. I'm just going to run down to the dump down here. And then where we took out old fences, there's a lot of 
wire which we're going to take to the scrappy today phoned them up and they're happy to take it which I'm surprised about these guys usually don't really like wire harsh on machines and wraps around shafts and just makes a mess of machines there's the dung heap we've dumped this dung here in the wheat field because this is the best chance we'll get to put dung on onto this field after the wheat's been in the rest of this whole farm is winter barley and after that we'll go oilseed rape and it'll be a quick turnaround between the two that will get cut disked sown with oilseed rape and then there's a crop in it again don't get a chance to put any dung on Right, that'll do it. Done, finished. Winter barley's all looking well. All the heads are up and through. I sprayed that two or three days ago. You won't spray it basically when it's like a paintbrush on top. All the heads, all the owns are peeking out now. The whole field looks like the top of a paintbrush. And these fences all got redone and we stripped down the old ones. Kev's just coming down the road now with the trailer, she'll get it loaded up and we'll get all this wire away. See what it's like and then there's some heavier metal down at the dump an old trailer chassis and whatnot we'll put that on top to squash it all down there's a wee bit of old fence wire buried in the verge connected it to the fort lift and it's coming out we've got an old gate this can get scrapped this used to be an old potato dresser Question for someone, what are these? I don't know myself. Yeah, it's a knife in there, so it's for cutting something at a distance, I think. Right, we've a load made up here. Take your guesses, put it down below. How much do you think's in here? I'm guessing at 1200 kilo. What are you guessing at, Kev? A ton. The winner gets absolutely nothing. Put your guesses down below. Closest guess gets a free bonnet. Colour choice of blue, khaki, green and red. And also you can buy them down the link below. There's still a few bundles of wire lying about, so Kev, once he's back, this is on the roadside, so you'll see the fort lift here, and I'll leave him to load that himself. There's not a bundle, just 500 metres that way. Thanks for watching. I was doing a few things I couldn't film, um, so that's why it's a wee bit shorter today. Big surprise tomorrow. Have a guess down below. What's the surprise tomorrow? There is something coming. What clue can I give you? It has four legs.